Hello, my name is Antoinette. I am 50 years old. No, I am 51 years old. And this is my life at 50. <laughs> ba -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Yeah. Hey guys, it is Sunday, the beginning of week two. I am out for a little walk because it is beautiful here in Illinois today. So, I'm gonna finish up here and then um, I'll let you know how week one went. So, stay tuned. Hello, and welcome to week two. Today is Sunday, and it is February 26th, and so this is um, my second video in my series of Healing Myself with Food. So let's first kind of go over how the first week went, and I'm going to start by giving you my stats. Um, so I created my first video journal on last Sunday. Monday morning, I took my weight, which was 161.4. My blood pressure, which, side note, I'm very surprised that it was this low because normally it isn't, even on medication, normally it's higher, but my blood pressure was 122 over 96 with a pulse of 79. And my waist was um, just a little shy of 36. So it was maybe like 35 and seven eighths or something like that. So those are my stats. Uh, beginning the first week and I am not going to weigh myself every week. I am 51. I am menopausal. My weight is just naturally going up and down right now. So I probably won't weigh myself and do my measurements again until um, maybe not until week three because I really want to give this whole thing a chance to work and um, I know I'm gonna need some time for my body to do that. So that's that. Um, all right, so overall, how do I feel week one went? Overall, I'm gonna give myself an A for effort. Um, I really feel good about everything I did. I stuck to my food plan, which was amazing. I tried to get really creative with my ingredients so that I'm not just I'm um, doing a salad every single day so I did um, vegetarian tacos I did um, a vegetable burrito yeah a vegetable burrito I did um, a pizza and I'm hoping I'm able to I'll put some pictures at the end of this video so that you can see some of the food that I created um, so I really stuck to that I did pretty good with my water drinking a full one of these every single day um, so that was great. And um, I did do some workouts, but definitely not every day. So let's kind of jump into what I learned. Um, I was trying to do way too much, y'all. Like, <laughs> seriously, you know, trying to eat plant based and stick to that and, you know, drinking the water and reading the books and doing the exercises every day and drinking the golden milk and the magnesium powder and the pills for cognitive and all of the things that I mentioned the reading. Yeah. So trying to do all of that while still, you know, doing other things that I need to do, like keep up my house and doing my laundry and running my wedding officiant business. Like it was a lot. So I learned that I definitely need to scale back a little bit and just pick maybe a couple things that I really want to focus on right now. So it's going to be the plant-based eating. I want to focus on that and drinking the water. Definitely want to focus on those two things. And anything else that I do, I'm just going to consider that a bonus. Sorry if my eyes are all over the place. I'm still trying to figure out where my camera thing is. So, um, so yeah, so those are the two things that I really want to focus on. Anything else, I'm just going to consider it a bonus. And as my really good friend and soul sister told me, she's like, you're not really a gym person because I was complaining about the treadmill and like how much I hate it. 
And she says, you like being outside. So once springtime comes, you're naturally just gonna go outside for walks because that's just what you enjoy doing. So basically give myself some grace right now. So thank you for that piece of advice, friend. And um, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Like today, it was really nice out. And so I was able to get out and go for a walk. So, um, so that's that. So overall, I am happy with week one and I am giving myself some grace for some of the other things. Like I said, I did get some exercise in. Like one day I did go to the gym, I did 18 minutes on the treadmill. And then since I was at the gym, I did some strength training um, with my legs and then with my arms. And then I did 10 minutes in the sauna. Um, so, you know, we'll just, that kind of stuff will just wing it by ear. Speaking of the sauna, another thing that I wanted to put on there. So I Googled some benefits of the hot tub, walking for 30 minutes a day, and the sauna. And I was very, very happy with what I found. So if you guys, again, disclaimer, I'm not a medical professional by any means. I literally just Googled these things because I have these things at my disposal and I wanted to see you know, what were some of the health benefits of them. So if you guys have any of these things at your disposal, like, you know, try it out. So for the hot tub, if you do 10 to 15 minutes, um, it's great for stress relief, muscle relaxation, improved sleep, better cardiovascular health. So, you know, that's something important to me. And there were a few other things, I'm just naming a few. Um, walking 30 minutes a day. I think we all know that walking is just generally good for you, but it helps to improve your mood. It helps to burn calories and maintain weight, um, reduce the risk of chronic diseases like blood sugar, blood pressure, heart disease, alleviate joint pain. Uh, it stimulates digestive, um, your digestive system, which is great, and it enhances creativity. And I would agree with that because I always get my best ideas when I'm out on a walk. So I need to like maybe start recording myself with some of these ideas because by the time I get back, sometimes I don't remember them all, but that's another story. Um, and so the sauna. So if you do 10 to 15 minutes, oh, and so for the hot tub information, I found that on healthline.com. For walking, I found that on prevention.com. And then for sauna, the sauna information, it was on GoodRx. Another quick side note, you guys, if you have any medication and you have to get prescription drugs for, this is not like a sponsored thing at all, but like look into GoodRx. My blood pressure medication, and I have a GoodRx membership, and I wanna say it's maybe $9 a month for the membership, but my prescription with GoodRx is cheaper than when I had my insurance through my employer when I had like a regular full-time job. Um, so I would highly, highly encourage you guys to, to check it out. Um, at least look into it. You can, you know, download the app, put your medication in there and just see if it's cheaper um, because it's, it's great. Anyway, so according to GoodRx, if you use the sauna for 10 to 15 minutes, uh, you get a better quality of overall life. You get detoxification, which is great, increased metabolism, and again, weight loss, less muscle and joint pain, lower risk of dementia and Alzheimer's. I thought that was pretty interesting. Reduce skin, skin scales and psoriasis, which like I said, that's one of the things that I have reduced inflammation, and um, I don't know why I have this on here twice, but yeah, the release of toxins. So, so yeah, I definitely want to try to incorporate those a little bit more in my life um, without adding extra pressure, but I wanna try to do that. So, um, so that's where we are after week one. I'm excited about week two. Not a food haul video this week because I'm actually going to California tomorrow. So I'm gonna hang out with one of my sisters. Super excited about that. Um, have a little photo shoot for my business. And um, and yeah, so it's gonna be interesting to see how I keep up with my eating plan, my, my plant-based eating while I'm out of town. So that's gonna be a good 
test. So that's it for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching and um, holding me accountable. And um, I guess like and subscribe and then you'll know when I upload another video, which like I said, I plan to do these every Sunday. And um, yeah, so that's where we are. Have an amazing week. Thank you for listening and watching and uh, for your support. Have an amazing day. Bye.